Hi, I'm Lindsay Brooks. Welcome to my first grade classroom. The setup of our classroom really works as far as the 21st century skills. They are together at tables. They're not at individual desks. The kids have to be collaborative in our classroom. They have to be team members. They have to be effective communicators to be able to work in the space together. In the center of their tables, they have tissues in there here. They have pencils, erasers, sanitizer. All of their math manipulatives that they'll need for the day are ready to go in the morning. Each table has a basket that holds their crayons, their glue sticks. The drawers underneath are for their more individual things, but all of the other materials at their tables are shared. This is our meeting area. It's really sort of our home base. First thing in the morning, we come in and the kids gather here for the calendar. We really get to what we're doing for the day so they have an idea of what's coming. This is our job chart. They keep their jobs for a week so they know exactly what to do, what responsibilities that they have. Um, when it's time to read a story, I'll sit in the big comfy chair and they just turn their bodies this way and they will be ready to listen to the story. Welcome to our classroom library. At the beginning of our classroom library, we have books featured by one of our students. The children really get a good look at each other's work and they know that they're writing for a purpose. Over here, we have bugs and dinosaurs and holidays. If it's not a directed independent reading time, they can come to these and really just pick whatever interests them. Another component to our classroom library are the author studies. The kids can choose lots of books from the authors that they're familiar with. And then most importantly, their leveled books. This is something that they know what their levels are, um, so they always have just right books at their independent reading time. When they have their books chosen, they go into their individual book boxes. They have the kids' number on them so they know exactly where to go, what to pick up. Inside, they have a baggie that has all of their just right books in it that they've chosen. And then the books that are right over here are all of my guided reading books. So these are books that the kids do not come and choose from themselves, but these are the books that I pick from for their guided reading groups. Here we have our word wall. It's set up in alphabetical order, and as we go through, new sight words get added to the word wall. We have these in a nice big font because I want the kids to be able to see these words anywhere in the room, wherever they are. These are words that they should be able to read and they should be able to spell on their own. At the top, we have fab vocab, words that we've learned from our reading. I'll put the word up, but the kids are the ones who will illustrate it so that I know that they really understand it. We also have social studies vocabularies and the math vocabulary from the unit that we're using. Responsive Classroom is really sort of the classroom environment. It kind of, to me, goes really well with the 21st century competencies because everyone is a team member. You know, having the kids feel safe to get up and, and give an answer, even if it might be wrong, all lends itself really nicely to making sure that the kids all feel as important a part of the classroom as all of the other kids.